Hey guys, it's been a while since we looked at something Metal Gear related. Today we're taking a quick look at the Metal Gear Solid comic. Um, this is published in 2004, so quite a bit of time after the game, and it's published by IDW, who are known most for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. This is a uh, volume 2, so it collects issues number 7 through 12. It was only 3 bucks, so I figured it might be worth a look. This is volume 2 of Metal Gear Solid 1's comic. So, while the artwork does look a little bit more like the stuff we've seen from Metal Gear Solid 2's concept art, it mainly covers the story of Metal Gear Solid 1. The art styles chosen are kind of interesting, it shifts between a few different styles. For close-up shots you have an almost modern art-like look, and for the farther zoomed out shots they look almost like concept art. This looks like it will get jarring after a while, but I kind of like it, although I feel like this art style fits more with posters and artwork than an actual comic. But it's still pretty interesting, especially when you see how they handle hazy or blurry images from the game. Now with any comic, how you show action scenes is very important, and I feel this comic does that very well. All the action scenes feel very lively despite the more muted color scheme, and the art style seems to adjust with it perfectly so you can clearly feel the speed and the direction of the action. But the art doesn't always work for me. What happened to Sniper Wolf's head? And the story does take some liberties with the events of Metal Gear Solid, but then it has other great panels that really make up for it. Then you're introduced to a whole new art style for flashbacks, which again is like, just pick one guys, come on. Then you get some amazing full size panels that could totally be their own poster followed by what looks like something that was drawn by a 5th grader. But overall, it's still a really cool book. A few too many art style changes for my liking, but if you're a huge Metal Gear Solid fan and you just want to look at some cool artwork, this book's great. It's not the best to relive the story, but it does have some really awesome interpretations of famous scenes. So yeah, it's pretty cheap now, so if you like this and you like the artwork, go ahead and check it out. I'll have a link below in the description to where to buy it on Amazon. It might be a little bit more expensive there. But anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.